I've shown you guys the primary bedroom and now I wanna show you the closets and the bathroom as well. So these are our closets, my side, Wynn's side, obviously mine's bigger, um, but I really love these doors. We wanted to add kind of this nickel groove detail that gave it a little bit of interest and of course an arch because they're everywhere and I, I love them throughout the house. Then they open up and look, we have our own little buttons. Ta-da! So my lights go on in here, same with wind side. Um, the best part about this is that they are totally tucked away and it looks really nice. And the other benefit of having these doors, especially with all the interest and the white oak, is that it provided a little something to break up this space. It's kind of like a short hallway going from the bedroom into the bathroom. And so we positioned the closets in the middle because it worked best spatially. We had to get creative on how it kind of would draw your eye and move you into the bathroom. So let's talk about the bathroom. This is another just sense of oasis and calm. I kept it overall pretty neutral so that it would feel that way. So vanity, let's talk about it first. I, I just love it. I just love how it turned out. There was a lot of creative ideas, a lot of like, it's not gonna look good, and it really came together. So we did this scout front custom vanity. I wanted to feel like a furniture piece instead of anything too built in. And I also wanted to add this curved detail. You know, I'm all about curves in this house. And um, so we accomplished that by kind of rounding the vanity. And then I was totally inspired one night by this um, European image of an old bathroom that had this bump out feature. So I did my own take on it. It bumps out a couple inches, covered in plaster, looks so good with the white rhino countertops and backsplash. And then it also incorporates so beautifully with our unlacquered brass faucets. You get to see the extra added detail of the handles on the faucet as well. Speaking of brass, I have found these sconces that are kind of to die for. They are leather, but they're kind of like a loose leather and they have this detail down the side and I just think they are the coolest, most interesting, different thing I've seen. And then paired that with a mirror that has a little, you know, shape and curve to it. So we're really playing with like the square moments, the rounded moments, kind of bring it all together. All right, do you guys want to know the other thing that on Instagram was like the big controversy? The tub. All right, this tub is so beautiful. It lands right in the middle of the window. Don't worry, these automatically close. Um, but what it does is create a really strong moment in the space, but the tub itself is clay. There was a vote going on if it should be clay or if it should be cream. We went clay and I couldn't be happier. It ties so beautifully into the tile, which is a bottichino flooring. We didn't want to create your typical basket weave. We wanted to kind of mix it up. So we played with the pattern and kind of went a little off course on that. The next drama moment in this bathroom is definitely the shower. There's so many little touches that I wanted to add. I wanted to add this step up platform feel so that it gave a little bit of a height variance in the space. And the tile itself is so beautiful. This is a limestone in a pattern. I did two different colors just so you would get a little bit of a difference and kind of add a little bit more for your eye to see. But then we over grouted it so it kind of mellowed it out and kind of blended them a little bit more together. Then we've got the shower glass. I didn't want to do typical here, of course. So this is a bronze. I did bronze so it didn't compete with the brass that's going on in the shower itself. One last statement that I wanted to add in the shower is in the shower heads. We went for this exposed plumbing that really gives an old world feel and I think it just turned out so beautiful with everything going on in the space. I cannot wait to grab a good book and just soak in here for hours in this beautiful bathroom oasis. 